Hi, I'm Brad Price, the Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Audinate. I've been working with my colleague, Patrick Kalani, to show you Dante AV. But first, let me tell you a bit about Audinate and Dante before we get to these great new products. First, who are we? Audinate is an Australian tech firm that manufactures networking solutions for makers of audio and video gear. We sell our Dante audio technology in many different forms to suit different kinds of products, ranging from hardware modules to FPGA designs to pure software implementations. Dante products themselves may be small, single-channel devices or massive mixing consoles with hundreds of channels. Dante has become the de facto standard for audio networking worldwide, with over 3,000 products in the market and over 500 licensed manufacturers. All of these products are 100% interoperable no matter what the brand. To the right are just a few of the popular brands making Dante-enabled products. Dante is also hugely scalable, allowing for the design and deployment of true multi-vendor systems of nearly any size. Dante performance is unmatched with pure lossless audio and ultra-low consistent latency. And most of all, Dante is famously easy to use. We've gone to great lengths to ensure that everyone can use audio networking with straight-ahead control software and a complete training program. At the heart of all Dante systems is Dante Controller, our free setup and configuration tool available for Windows and Mac computers. All Dante devices are automatically discovered and displayed in Dante Controller, and connections are as easy as just clicking at the intersection of a transmit channel and a receive channel. No pre-configuration is necessary, and all Dante devices use fully editable, human-readable names to reduce confusion. With Dante, entire systems can be reconfigured using Dante Controller without moving a single cable, and presets can be instantly recalled. All Dante devices also remember their settings, which means that all connections instantly return upon a power cycle. Now, let's talk about Dante AV. Dante AV brings the same ease of use to video that has made Dante Audio the leading solution among AV professionals. Dante AV uses the same Dante controller software as Dante Audio. And like Dante Audio, Dante AV is designed to work on today's gigabit networks, the systems that are already in place. It uses the same automatic discovery and one-click routing as Dante Audio, and so it's just as easy to use. With a focus on quality, Dante AV uses a JPEG 2000 codec for visually lossless 4K performance. Other codecs can be used if desired. Dante AV also includes eight channels of Dante Audio built in that are 100% compatible with all Dante Audio products. The advantages of a network solution are truly boundless. With Dante AV, signals can be routed anywhere without moving a cable or connector, and video and audio signals can be independently routed with no need for de-embedding. With Dante AV, a single common clock drives all audio and video, maintaining synchronization across the network. Dante AV allows you to send video to multiple screens with no need for matrix switchers or splitters. Just click. And when adding Dante AV to any existing Dante audio network, you can be assured that it works with all 3,000 plus products on the market right out of the box. All network solutions do away with heavy proprietary cables and connectors, instead using lightweight, inexpensive Ethernet CAT5 or CAT6 cable. Dante AV supports HDCP 2.2 over IP and supports all common hardware control protocols, such as USB, infrared, serial, and CEC. We're pleased to be showing you the first Dante AV products to hit the market. The Bolin D-Series PTZ cameras, the Bolin Dante AV decoder, and the patent FPX 6000 series of Dante AV encoders and decoders. Let's take a closer look. The Bolin D412 and D220 cameras provide native Dante AV support. The D412 is capable of 4K video at 60 frames per second and supports 12x zoom, while the D220 is a full high-definition 1080p camera with 20x zoom. Both use the JPEG 2000 codec for maximum quality with low latency and visually lossless performance. The Bolin D10H decoder takes Dante AV signals from the network and provides an HDMI output for monitors, editors, or recording devices. 
the D10S, is the same product with an SDI output. It supports all Dante AV products that use JPEG 2000, supports HDCP 2.2, and provides pass-through control for USB, infrared, serial, and CEC protocols. The Patent FPS 6000 series includes an encoder and a decoder. The FPS 6000T encoder allows you to connect any existing HDMI source to a Dante AV network, while the FPX 6000R decoder provides HDMI outputs to feed monitors, editors, and recording devices. There's of course support for HDCP 2.2, and the Patent FPS 6000 series works with any Dante AV products that use the JPEG 2000 codec. There is, of course, complete pass-through control for USB, infrared, serial, and CEC protocols. Together, the FPS 6000 products allow you to create a completely networked Dante AV system using existing video products. Now let's get to a demonstration of a real system using these products. Here's a simplified diagram showing our small Dante AV system here in the lab. We've got a train set on a tabletop with two Bolin PTZ cameras looking at it. One of these cameras is of course the new Bolin D412 Dante AV PTZ camera, while the other is a standard Bolin PTZ camera with an HDMI output. We've also got the Bolin PTZ controller connected and it's using Visca over IP to control the D412. The HDMI camera output is sent to a Dante AV encoder, in this case a patent FPX 6000T, and from there it's connected to our network. The Bolin D412 Dante AV camera is of course directly connected to the network. In each case, an HDMI monitor output is driving the screens on the left side of our displays, while Dante AV decoders from Bolin and Patton are driving the screens on the right side, giving you a side-by-side -side comparison. We've got a computer to run Dante controller and some speakers if we'd like to make some noise, so let's try it out. We've highlighted some things on our system diagram to show you what we're going to do. We're going to start with the simplest thing, connecting the output of the Bolin D412 Dante AV PTZ camera to the monitor in the upper right. How does one do that on a network? Let's open Dante Controller on this computer, then connect our network to show you how it works. As you can see, all Dante devices simply appear due to automatic discovery and they're now ready to use. There's no need to pre-configure a Dante device to get started. We can open our devices to see all the channels for each one. Note that the transmitter channels are on the top horizontal axis, while the receiver channels are arranged vertically on the left. Icons tell us what each channel is, audio, video, or control. We want to connect the video transmitter channel from the Bolin D412 to the video receive channel of the Bolin D10H decoder, so the video will be sent to the proper monitor. So we click at the intersection of these two channels and voila! We see the video from the camera shown on both the top monitors the left one connected to the camera via HDMI, and the right one through our Dante AV network. I'll add a couple of audio channels as well. It all works the same way. Connecting Dante devices is just this easy every time. Now let's go a bit further. We'd like to connect the Dante AV output of the Bolin D412 to two monitors at once. Do we need a splitter or a matrix switch? No. We simply click at the intersection of the Bolin D412 video transmit channel and the video receive channels of both the Bolin and Patton decoders at once. That's all we have to do. And now both monitors on the right hand side are showing the content from the Bolin D412 PTZ camera. Adding endpoints in a Dante system is really just this easy. Now let's add a second video source to our network. In addition to the Dante AV signal going from the Bolin D412 camera to the top right monitor, we're going to take the output from the Dante AV encoder attached to the Bolin HDMI camera and send it to the monitor on the lower right. So we expose the transmit channels for the patent FPS 6000T encoder and find the intersection of the video transmit channel with the video receive channel for the patent FPX 6000R decoder. Click and they are connected. We've now got two video streams running independently on our network using standard networking gear and no video splitters or switchers. It's really just this easy to build an AV over IP system using Dante. Thanks for watching.